Hello everyone. This video would focus on rotation of axis. In this example, we are going to focus on the rotation of axis in an ellipse. To better understand this, let's go over an example. In a distant space, comet X revolves around a star named ME106-21, which is the sun. By the way, in science, the star and sun are used interchangeably. It follows an elliptical orbit with eccentricity of 7 ninth with the sun or the star in one of the two foci. The closest distance, which is called the perihelion of comet X to the sun, is for astronomical unit, represented as a symbol AU. By the way, one astronomical unit is approximately 93 million miles, or that is approximately 150 million kilometers. The major axis is the x-axis, and the center is the point of origin. The questions are, determine the equation of the path followed by comet X as it moves around the sun ME106-21, which is the, uh, the star in that um, stellar system. The second question is that suppose that one day for some reason, so the reasons here could be like there is another stellar body out there that collides with ME106-21 that caused its um, major axis to be rotated 30 degrees from the horizontal. Again, this force is really huge that caused it to be rotated at 30 degrees from the horizontal. So once the, uh, once the sun, which is ME106-21, was rotated 30 degrees from the horizontal, its major axis was rotated 30 degrees from the horizontal, we also assume that the path followed by comet X that moves around it, its path was also rotated 30 degrees from the horizontal. So we're supposed to determine the new equation of the path followed by comet X. So these are the two questions in the problem. Now let's start with the first problem. To get a better picture of how this comet X moves around the, this star ME106-21, let's sketch the ellipse or the path. Okay, so this is the path followed by Comet X, and then the sun is located in one of the two foci. So let's assume that the sun or this star was located somewhere around here. Now, it is mentioned in the problem that the distance of the comet to the sun at its nearest point or perihelion is four astronomical units. So from here all the way up here, it's going to be four astronomical units. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this one right here as four. And then we also remember that from the center all the way to the focus, which is the sun is one is in one of the two foci, we can actually label or this is actually labeled as letter C. So we're going to put letter C in here. And then the distance from the vertex all the way to the center. So from this point all the way to this point to the center is represented as letter A. We also remember that the distance from the center to the co-vertex is represented as letter B. So I'm just going to go ahead and label this as B right here. Now, since this ellipse has a center of 0, 0 and the x-axis as its major axis, we can go ahead and say that the equation for this ellipse is represented as... In the problem, we are given eccentricity as well. The formula for eccentricity is E equals C over A. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here. We also have another equation that relates um, A, B, and C. And that is C squared equals A squared minus B squared. So I'm just going to go ahead and write that down here. Okay, so we are going to use these three equations right here to determine the equation of the path, this path right here, which is the ellipse, followed by comet X as it moves around ME106-21. To write that equation, we have to use this. But the problem is we don't have an A, but we know that if we add C and 4, that gives us the A. 
and we don't have the B as well. So then we go ahead and use the given in the problem in order that we can solve for the um, missing values for A and B. So that we are going to use the um, formula for eccentricity to determine the value for C. So the equation for eccentricity again is E equals C over A. So we got that from here. Now please notice that our A is actually the sum of C and A. So I can rewrite this as E equals C over A will be replaced by 4 plus C. So I'm going to add 4 plus C to that. So 4 plus C. So that from here, we plug in the value for eccentricity in the problem. The eccentricity is 7 over 9, and that is equal to C over 4 plus C. So what I would do is I will cross multiply this and solve for C. Okay, our value for C is 14. So I'm just going to go ahead and label that up there. That tells us that our value for A then is the sum of C plus 4. So I go ahead and write the value for A right here. So I got the value for A is 18 because I had to add 14 plus 4 and that's 18. So I get the A squared which is 324 because that's what, what we need in order that we can determine the um, equation. So that's 324. What we will do right now is we need to solve for B squared because again to come up with an equation we already have an A and we need to determine the value of b squared. So we're going to use the third equation right here to solve for b squared. So I will plug in the value of a squared. I will plug in the value of c squared right here, which is c right here. I'm just going to go ahead and square that so that I can solve for b squared. So this is how it's going to look like. Okay, so we already have a value for b squared. So what do we do next is we plug in the value of a squared into the equation and we will uh, plug in the value of b squared into that equation over there. So we can go ahead and say that the equation for the path followed by comet x as it moves around the sun or this star me 106-21 is given in an equation. Now let's look at this path or this equation or this path of the comet in an x and y coordinate plane using Desmos. So we're going to type in the equation of the ellipse that represents the path of comet X as it moves around the star Me106-21. So this is the path followed by comet X as it moves around the star Me106-21. Now let's move on to the second problem where in that second problem it states that the major axis which is this x-axis right here was rotated 30 degrees from the horizontal. The general equation of an ellipse rotated at any angle theta is given this equation. Since in the problem, it was mentioned that this stellar system was rotated 30 degrees from the horizontal. That means that all of the theta that we have right here will be replaced by 30. And the A squared is equal to 324. And the B squared is 128. So this equation would come out. Okay, simplifying this further, cosine squared 30 is 0 0.75 and sine squared 30 is 0 0.25. This equation would come out.
Okay, adding these two fractions and subtracting these two fractions and adding these two fractions, what we do is that we are going to multiply these two together. So 324 times 128 is 41,000. 472. In that way, we have a common denominator. And so we are going to simplify this fraction and we are able to come up with 96 plus 81. And then that is x squared. And then I will do the same thing for the rest of these fractions here. Now adding these uh, numer two numbers here in the numerator, subtracting these two and adding these two, this would come out. Okay, now what are we gonna do next is we are going to simplify the fraction to its lowest term. So you can see these two are divisible by three. So we can divide three to both of these. This one is divisible by four. So we can divide this by four, divide this by four. These two can't be divided anymore. We can't find any value that can be divided to both of them. So this tells us that the final equation for this is So this is the equation of the new path followed by Comet X as it moves around the star ME106-21. Please notice that we have a term that has XY on it. This tells us that this is the rotated equation of the given parabola that we had in problem number one or in the first um, question in this problem. Now let's look at the graph of this equation in the x and y plane using decimals. So let's type in the equation of the ellipse after it was rotated 30 degrees from the horizontal. So the blue one is the new path followed by comet x as it moves around ME106-21 and this dotted red ellipse right here is the original uh, path followed before the collision or before um, the axis was rotated. Now please remember that the new axis that we have right here can be represented as Please notice that this broken line right here is the new axis after it was rotated. So that means that this is 30 degree angle. So looking at this, if we take away this um, original path, this is the new path followed by Comet X as it moves around ME106-21. Again, this new axis right here is 30 degrees from the horizontal. That's it. If you find this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya!